Welcome back guys to my channel. So today we are gonna make a fried pork chop sandwich. We're not gonna use a pork chop though. We're actually gonna use a pork tenderloin. So take a look at this. So this is just a pork tenderloin from uh, Trader Joe's. They're really inexpensive. And also too, it is uh, very, very lean. So brioche bun, we have a little bit of lemon for our arugula. We have a little seasoning for the pork. I like to put a little radish on there and we're gonna do some mayonnaise but let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys how easy this is. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut a couple pieces of pork and we're actually gonna pound these out and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. We're gonna hit it like that until it's nice and thin. So, so now I'm actually gonna get the uh, stove on real quick because I'm gonna toast my bun first. I'm gonna get, just get that on like a nice, nice heat. Okay, that's gonna heat up. So then we're gonna take our pork out. Now mind you, you saw how big those pieces were, right? Look how thin that is. Super thin, right? Our next part is we're just gonna season this pork up before we put it on, on the uh, stove, okay? So we're gonna take a little bit of the smoky seasoning. I picked a, almost like a barbecue rub. So I'm gonna season that up. Cool. That's perfect. All right, so that's all done. I'm gonna do a quick little wash up. Pan's getting warm. Uh, let's see what happens here, okay? All right, so we have a nice brioche bun right here. Take a look at that. That is uh, from Trader Joe's actually. So I'm gonna take a little bit of mayonnaise. Have you guys ever toasted a bun with mayo? Let me know because this is my favorite way because I love mayonnaise. So watch this guys. So I'm gonna take this, put it in the pan. I'm just gonna drop it in the pan here. Oh my goodness. You guys, I love this type of sandwich. It's so good. So next part, we're just gonna slice up a little bit of radish. I like to do Little thin slices. Okay, so that's done. Roll out a little lemon for the salad. Let me do a quick little check on that. Perfect. Oh, this is so good. This is so good, you guys. I can't wait for this. So I'm gonna do a little bit of lemon. Take out those seeds. So the arugula, uh, really peppery, goes really well with the pork. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of more pepper. And then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of salt. And a little bit of lemon, okay? Just a little bit, just to get it. Ooh, that's perfect, can't wait. Look at that, so that's what you want. That is a beautifully toasted bun. So we're gonna set this over here. We're almost done. Now, I'm gonna put a little olive oil in the pan. My wife is probably one of the best camera persons I know. Pork, look at that. Look at that thing, okay? Now we're gonna put this in the pan, lay it out. Lay it out. Lay it out, okay. That is good, man. I'm gonna let that sit. So we're gonna do a nice little hard sear. All right, guys, we are almost ready. We're almost ready, so check, check this out. Look at the color on that. Perfect. So you can see how it's actually starting to cook all the way through because it's so thin. So that's only gonna take like one more minute, okay? So I got my beautiful toasted bun starting to drool. I'm literally starting to drool right now. Almost done. Mm. A little bit longer. All right, next part is I'm gonna take some, I know, more mayonnaise. 
but trust me. Okay, this is done. Now, take a look at that pork. So we're just gonna lay it out right there. Okay, let that set off. After this part, I do like to take a little bit more lemon. I'm gonna get some of this nice arugula. Okay, so this is pork chop sandwich with a pork tenderloin. Look how good this looks. Look at that. That is killer. So, should we probably have a taste test? We probably should, right? Jesus. All right, here we go. You guys need to help me. That is ridiculous. I can't stop, okay? So I'm gonna enjoy this sandwich. Uh, I'm gonna turn the cameras off, but you guys let me know what you think. Had a lot of fun making it. And uh, if you guys have any comments, go ahead and hit the comment section. I can't think right now. I need to eat this right now. Mm.